Man, look at that beast on the TV screen. Wow. That guy is an athletic beast. Look at that. Nine sacks and six interceptions as a corner. Oh, oh, fuck. Someone's at the door. All right. I want to see who it is. Oh, hey, Kobe. What's up? Oh, not much, Michael. <laughs> you know I actually needed to talk to you. Sure. What's up? So, you know my career is coming to an end. I only got a few years left. And I really, really want to tie MJ. So, can you go ahead and just lose this series for me? Make it a little bit easier for me to win the title? Why would I do that? I want to win myself. <laughs> but you got a long career ahead of you. I can see you winning many titles. But I want to win now. I didn't come this far just to <laughs> I don't understand you, youngins. Why are you being so difficult? Because I want to win. Duh. You're a waste. You're a bitch. And if you want to beat me, you're going to have to do it fair and square. Yeah, you can go screw off. What was that all about? Jeez. People nowadays. Good lord. So, we got the second round bracket right here. The conference semifinals. I don't know how the Pistons won that series. It's beyond me. But anyway, I'm not going to complain. As we are facing the Lakers in game one, so I'll see you all in a couple seconds. As the playoffs continue, the action intensifies. Eight teams eliminated, and now the true contenders begin to emerge. Nothing can be taken for granted, and those not ready for the next level will be the next to go. This is round two of the NBA playoffs. Man, I love those introductions. It's probably the best they have it they've ever had in 2K. But let me introduce myself. I am Sim with Vengeance, and I am the mayor of Jam City. And I'm coming to you with the game one of the Western Conference semifinals here against the Los Angeles Lakers. And the way I, that Kobe presented himself to me in my own house, that was just straight up disrespectful. He just kind of just stormed out of the building, kind of like a little, you know, I don't want to say him personally, but, you know, Kobe just, he'll be Kobe. And I ain't going to take nothing away from Kobe. He's a great player. But come on now. You can't just expect to me all of a sudden surrender like it's some sort of cool deal to just surrender like come on now I ain't gonna f I ain't gonna do that not happening but you see we're a very versatile team especially at the guards our guards are positions are pretty much stacked and if pe people want to call it that way uh, both of the guards we have you just saw averaging 25 plus so not bad at all. Not bad at all. But before we begin this game, I would like to be aware of the situation that Kobe Bryant is currently in. And I am aware that he wants that sixth ring, but I'm not going to give it to him. So I told him, no, you have to earn it just like everybody else. And he kind of just took it the wrong way. He just, I don't know what was his problem. But I guess the biggest problem for us in this series would have to be Kobe and Dwight. So let's get this game underway. So we have this first play right here. And Steve Nash decides to reach. Trying to get a little frisky early on. I don't know what that was about. But I'm going to take that. And I'm going to shove it right in his face. With a three. <laughs> so we are off to a good start. Three pointers on the board early and often. But before we do that... Houston, we have liftoff. Vert me. Let's vert me. That's That was high. Oh, my God. It's, that is just ridiculous. And didn't even call the foul either. Usually they call the foul. I don't know why they didn't call the foul this time. But now we're down by eight early on. I don't know what's going on. So I go around. And Houston, we have liftoff. Another dunk. And I'm just scoring early and often. I'm doing everything I can to keep this team in the game. 
And you see right here, I'm going up with a layup. Finger roll! And I have nine straight points for my team. Off to myself again. Frozen. Like ice. Every time. Every time that pump fake is just cheese. My pump fake is nice. It gets them frozen most of the time anyway. Not every time, but most of the time. BC, I get my first assist right here to Carlos Delfino. And you know Delfino is not going to miss very often. But you see right here, I'm getting double teamed. Do I care? Nope, because I got Roy Hibbert. If there's a double team, there's somebody wide open. And now you see 23-18. It's stolen by Kmart. Gives it off to me. And you know what I'm going to try and do. Get myself to Kevin Martin. And I go shopping there. Get this team back on the board, back on track. And I have to because this is a tough team. Oh, Houston, we have liftoff. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. He hung on the rim and told Dehane Jones, taste these nut sacks. Mmm, they're like almonds, baby. I hope you're not allergic. <laughs> oh, my God. And now we're going to go to the free throw line. And it's good. It is good. Just to top it all off. Just to rub it in his face. And now we're here down by two. Fake out. Boom. Another dunk. Come on now. You know that pump fake is nice. That pump fake is just too nice. My pump fake is probably the best pump fake ever. But you see again, I do the pump fake. It doesn't work this time. So, it, like I said, it works sometimes, but not every time. Otherwise, if it worked every time, it wouldn't be fun to play this game. So you see me going up with another jumper. Giving our team a three-point advantage early on. And it's, it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt, doesn't it? I, get, I would think so. But you see me going up. And Houston, we have liftoff. Ooh. No replay there, but you know. You just know. Jeremy Lamb like a sheep. Saving the day with another dunk. Mm-mm-mm. Jeremy Lamb like a sheep. Into Gary Forbes. And Gary Forbes misses, but Omar is chic. A rebounding terrorizer. Gives it up to Omar. Oh. Gary Forbes, that was a beautiful pass. Let's look at that again. Mmm. Right past him. I'm telling you, who should I victimize this series? Who is going to be my main victimizer? I mean, seriously, come on, people. I've been terror I terrorized DeAndre Jordan that last series. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he's going to retire after this series. But I had to get the end one right there. Make the free throw. We got a six-point advantage. It's all looking good. Tony Douglas back over to myself. Pump fake worked a little bit because I got Tony Douglas a little spot open. I don't know if the pump, the pump fake was into full consideration in that play. But anyway, as you see right here, another reverse dunk. And as I have, I normally don't score this many points in the first half. But, but the shots have been taken. I'll show you all in a minute my field goal percentage, but I, I don't think I've missed a single shot yet. Like, but after all you missed by uh, Dwight Howard, I'm all alone on the break, and I'm going to go up and use to me. I've left off. Uh, it's too much. It's just too much. Come on. You just can't. You just can't learn. Nobody learns when to get out of the way. But here we are again with another dunk. And I'm, I almost broke my shit again on that play. It always seems like I'm falling when I'm dunking. I mean, that's the second time. I think it's the second or third time I've fallen when I'm going up for a dunk. But I'm surprised they haven't called a foul on any of these. But Roy Hibbert right there getting another bucket. And I'm about to show you my field goal percentage. 14 for 14. Wow. I am on fire. Kevin Martin again. Just doing what he do. Either he doesn't shoot it. If he doesn't shoot it right away, like I said, call for the ball back. And then if he gets wide open like that, <clears throat> he's going to make it. And now we're here at just the ending of the second quarter. Kevin Martin back over to myself. Royce White to the Iowa, to Iowa Connection. Royce White, Iowa State. Myself, Northern Iowa. Iowa to Iowa Connection. 
So the time's winding down in the first half. He's got the double team drawn over me, so I find Kevin Martin wide open. He ain't going to miss that. But here we are again. So this is I'm still 100% from the field. And at this point, I, look at that. Do you consider that to be a block or a steal? Or a steal attempt? I consider it to be a steal attempt. But I don't know. That's really just, that's questionable to me. My field goal percentage. I was I was actually a little butthurt when I heard, saw that field goal percentage at 94%. I can't believe they counted that as a field goal uh, attempt because because that that didn't even look like a shot to me. I didn't even try and well I I attempted the pump fake, but I guess he got a piece of the, the ball. So you know I guess thanks Steve Nash, a little bastard. So here we are, up by nine. So I'm going to get my revenge on Steve Nash for making me fuck up my 100%. So we're going to go up and give Kevin Martin a layup. And I'm going to go on the fast break with uh, my Thomas Robinson. He finds me in the corner, open for three. I ain't going to miss that. No way, Jose. 17 of 19 from the field. You can understand Dwight Howard being 12 for 15 because all he does is dunk anyway. So we're here trying to do a little up and under move on Steve Blake. And he gets the bucket. And now it's 83-77 with 40 points and 12 assists. Make it 13 with another bucket. So here, again, I find myself in a good spot. Trying to find Roy Hibbert in the paint for the bucket. Bounced around a little bit, but that's okay. As long as he gets it in. I really don't care. Just make the shots. Because that's all it comes down to when it comes to the final minutes of the game, especially in 2K. We see uh, that's Royce, uh, not, not Royce Wright, but Roy Hibbert again making another bucket. And Royce, <laughs> I almost said it again, Roy Hibbert. Roy Hibbert's Roy Hibbert with another bucket. Now, I'm not doing an Iowa to Iowa connection. I'm doing a little man to big man connection. We see Thomas Robinson. I'm pretty sure that Thomas Robinson's a beast and he's going to abuse Paul Gasol in this series. I'm pretty sure because as Stephen A. Smith likes to say, his defense is as soft as cottonell tissue. And that's a three-pointer from Tony Douglas. As we're winding down in the third, I'm on the fast break to Jeremy Lamb like a sheep. Bat. <laughs> and 100 to 89. This is a high-scoring game. I've scored... I have... Like, this is ridiculous I'm just going up the floor and finding open teammates at this point 40 points 20 assists and the fourth quarter has begun so let the cheese begin in Houston we have liftoff Ugh. see Paul Gasol's defense soft as cottonail tissue please come on now you can't just let me go around you especially since you're almost a foot taller than me but Roy Hibbert in for the bucket giving me my 21st assist of the game and it's 110 it's 106 to 110 I try and cheese up to Steve Nash but I give it off to Thomas Robinson and he gets the bucket and it's all good it's 112 to 106 Thomas Robinson again I go around the backside and try and get an easy bucket but there he is again Thomas Robinson abusing that Paul Gasol defense Taking advantage of it because you know it's softer than cotton nail tissue. But you see myself. Shot clock winding down. Kevin Martin at the buzzer. Oh, that's good. 117, 112 now. That fourth quarter cheese is coming. They were I think we were up by 15. So gotta be aware. Kobe Bryant. I played the best defense known to man on that play, and he still makes it. Like, come on now. Come on. You know, you know he ain't going to make that. I mean, every once in a while he might. Like, there's times where he's just on, on God mode, but come on. Especially on that pass right there. He was just cherry picking. He was just waiting for the cherry pick. So it's 119, 117. And then we're falling behind in game one. Oh, and I break Falcon's ankles. I don't even know how he got up so fast. But I get to go to the line and possibly tie this game up. So the ref gives me the ball. Clutch moments, deep breath, shot is up, and it goes in. 118, 119, 43 points, 24 assists. Will it be enough, though, to pull this team into a victory in game one of the Western Semis? Free throws up, and it's good, tie game. So, can the Lakers take advantage? 
Minute and 17 seconds and ticking. Steve Nash over to the white. That's my bad on the defensive end. I really just fucked up on that one. But can we come down and make a bucket? Too many close games in these playoffs. It's like you really can't control it. But you see Kobe Bryant being cheesy, a cheesy, 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 cheesy old motherfucker. And he makes another bucket. So it's 124-120. I make a three ball right there. Make it a one-point game. I got to foul Steve Nash. Send him to the line. I know he's a great free throw shooter, and I really didn't want him to shoot it, but I really didn't want to waste time either. So I'm just trying to waste clock a little bit. I give it to Carlos Delfino in the corner, corner specialist. And he missed. Oh, my God. Oh, and we send him to the line. I didn't even follow him. I was just kind of hoping that the, the clock would be wind down. But we end up losing game one, 128 to 123. And that's it for game one. Stop by my Facebook, Twitter, and send me a message on Xbox Live. But until next time, I am Sim with Vengeance, and I'm out of here. Peace. Tonight's loss starts this series on a sour note for you guys. What are your feelings going into the second game? What are my feelings? This is the NBA, man. It's not about feelings. So let's not go down that road, okay? We're sitting here in the playoffs with a chance to play for the championship, and you want to get into my feelings? You see any happy little birds flying around singing right now or something? Apparently you missed it, but that's not the vibe I'm projecting at all. We just lost, and it don't sit well with any of us. But that's the extent of it. I ain't about to sit here and talk about my feelings, so let's just move on before I say something I'm not supposed to, man.